Welcome back, heroes, to some more Pokemon Sword. Last episode, me and Hop worked together with Marnie and Team Yell and Piz. And Team Yell are now supporting us, which is great. Had to try and find a guard to get a key to get into Rose Tower. And once we did, managed to fight our way to the top where we met Alina. And Alina was gone super crazy. Battled her with a giant Max Garbodor, which looked super cool, by the way. And once we beat her, got to see Leon. And Leon was basically saying to the uh, chairman, Look, I, n I know you think the world's in trouble. Well, uh, Galar's in trouble in a thousand years, but tomorrow it's fine. We're gonna do the champion match and then the, the chairman was like, no, we have to do things tomorrow. Put the match on hold and the champion was having none of it. And the chairman was like, yo, tomorrow I'm gonna change history. So something evil is gonna happen very, very soon. But let's go and talk to the lady here and she'll take us to the uh, the stadium. And we can go take on Leon, which I'm very excited about. Dude, it's gonna be a uh, very, very fun match. Him and his uh, Dynamax Charizard gonna get absolutely destroyed. Hey, there's Hop. Yo, what's up? Foxy! And he ran away from me. <laughs> this is it. Here at Wyndham Stadium. The greatest stadium in all of Galar. You're gonna show everyone the greatest battle ever, mate. And set the world on fire. So, go get yourself checked in. Alright, I will. I'm ready. Leon, I hope you're ready to lose. I'm so ready for this. Challenger Voltsy, we've been waiting for you. Since you won your way through the semi-finals, you must face off against the gym leaders in the finals. Wait, the gym leaders? And they won't be holding back. Whoever makes it through the, this final bracket will win the right to challenge the champion. So, are you ready to go to the locker room now? Yep, straight away, let's go. And I'll show you the way. Oh, so that makes sense why at the very start of the game, it was Raihan versus... Um, First Leon. So we now gotta fight the gym leaders to make it to uh to Leon. That's actually kinda crazy. Got everyone here, you got Piers. Yo. I said to aim to win this thing, and I'll, I'll do it without using Dynamax to help everyone in Spike Muff reclaim their pride. And to see him smile once again. I really like Piers, man, he's a really cool character. Got Nessa, long time no see. This will be different, this will be a different sort of battle than you faced in the gym challenge. Those were basically test matches, but this. This is a serious battle. Okay. Oh, let's go speak to Raihan. Yo, I'm gonna win my way through every round. Then I'll be the one taking on Leon. If I don't, then I'll fail to repay Durolodon and the rest of my team for all their hard work. Ooh, sup. It's a curious feeling. My heart is racing a bit, but I still can't wait for the match to begin. Yo, my first match is against Raihan of all people. What rotten luck. But even if he changes the weather around, I don't plan on throwing in the towel so easy. I'll be bringing my matches to an end in a heartbeat, you'll see. No one who sees them will ever forget me. I just realised Opal's not here. Oh, I bet you 100%. BD's now the um, the gym leader. And he's going to show up. We're going to have to fight BD in like the gym leader matches. That'd be so cool. Please be that. Please let that happen, please. Alright, so when you're ready, please head up the pitch. I'm ready. Will you be heading onto the pitch? The opening ceremony should be starting soon. I'm ready. Then in you go. Oh, dude, BD's gonna be the gym leader. That, that, that's so cool. It's gotta be, 100%. Right, here we go. The opening ceremony for the final. Probably goes without saying, but hello, Gala. Now I'm your champion, Leon. The chairman is tied up with some business, so I hope no one minds. Oh, in order to lead you all to the greater heights of the Pokemon trainers of the Gala region. The time has come for you to ballot out until only the greatest challenger remains. So on behalf of the chairman, allow me to say, let the final matches begin. I feel like sometimes that text goes way too fast. I have no control on over when the uh, text moves like I can now. But wait, you. Oh yes, yeah, BD. Who's that? Yep, BD took over, that's so cool. A moment, if I may. Does anyone here even remember me? I'm BD, the challenger who was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. BD? He's a challenger endorsed by Chairman Rose himself. I have a score to settle with Challenger Voltsy here. I'm aware that this is against the rules, but I ask nonetheless. Let me battle him. I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. What an unexpected turn of events. Former challenger BD has come for one last battle. 
We are currently debating what to do with Challenger Beatty. To all our viewers, both here in the stadium and at home in front of the telly, we ask that you please be patient. What? So he's not a gym leader? We must be. He's got the um, the fairy type, like jersey on. But is this ridiculous of me? I had to say something. Do something. Ever since you showed up, everything I've done has, be has gone wrong. It was Alina who asked me to gather wishing stars for the chairman. But then the chairman himself disowned me. Then the strange old lady comes out of nowhere and drags me into a boot camp on fairy type Pokemon. Do you have any idea what I've been through? Covered in pink, dealing with quizzes and battles with fairy type Pokemon every day. And here I am, pouring my heart out to you, and I've never lost my cool before. We've reached a decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the champion himself has accepted BD's sudden interruption. Is the champion shown his love by giving every trainer a chance to grow stronger? Or is it a trial for Challenger Voltsy? My will hasn't been broken yet. Okay. So is he going to take over as the gym leader or not? Alright, let's go. I kind of feel like he might. He has to. I kind of like BD. Got that tragic backstory. Kind of a cool character. Let's see. We've faced too much to quit now. We've got no choice but to win. I mean, I kind of, I'm kind of rooting for him to win a little bit, but at the same time, yeah, we can't lose. Then he got four Pokemon. Okay. Nice. Oh, I just realized what I've done. I need to do something after this battle. Totally forgot. So uh, last episode, when I did it, I forgot to save the game. And when I came back onto the game, I had to redo last episode, so to quickly run through, I turned animations off. I don't think I can turn them on through here again. I can't. Okay, so animation's going to be off for this battle, but once we can get control of settings again, I'll turn them back on. Yeah, I totally forgot. My bad. I had to just go through the whole of last episode again to start this episode. So long, but yeah. So the animations off just sped things up a little bit, which was nice. So you got Gardevoir, okay. Alright, so he's got a fairy team now, sort of like a psychic team. Surely he's got to have his, um, his like duosion still. Oh, we got the burn on Gardevoir. Oh man, I feel so bad. Yep, go for calm mind, doesn't matter because the burn's gonna finish you off. <laughs> oh, get absolutely wrecked. Alright, what else? Rapidash? Oh, it's gonna be Galarian Rapidash. Uh, yeah, we can stay in. That just really looks like a. Just looks so much like a My Little Pony sort of thing. It's just. It's. It looks more. You, you know how, like, sometimes. Things are based, like Pokemon are based off like animals and stuff, like, you know, for example, Squirtle. Like, you look at a, a to me, I look at a, a turtle and I look at a Squirtle, I, just, I see a Squirtle and I see a turtle. But looking at Rapidash, I don't see a Rapidash and a Unicorn, I see a Unicorn, you know? <laughs> I just don't see a Rapidash. <laughs> oh man, it's just, I mean, it's not a bad thing, I guess, but it, it looks good. I mean, I think Galarian Ponytail still looks a lot cuter. I think it's because it's a little small, smaller, but anyway, still, still cool. Right, he's got to have his um, Duosion, or he's got to have that Hatterini? Yeah, Hatterini, because it's a uh, psychic fairy. What's with that calm expression? Think you're going to win? Oh, I know I'm going to win. Alright, let's go for Dynamax. I, don't, I, wonder, uh, I wonder if he had Dynamax as well. Guess we'll find out. Go Cinderace. <laughs> that scream just gets me every time. Oh, we'll show you a truly great pink. It's time for my dear Hatterene to. Oh, giant! It's got a giant max form? Okay. Oh, nice. You can kind of see his body, it's just like. Really little compared to its body. <laughs> Alright. Max Flare. Did quite a bit of damage. Max Mindstorm. Okay. 
I've got to find a way how to like go for giant max in because I've got Pokemon that can giant max, just I don't know how to do it. I'm assuming maybe it was like throw a rocket at some point. Maybe I missed something, I don't, I don't know. Alright, let's go into. Ooh, uh. We might outspeed it with Poison Jab. If not, we, we absolutely get wrecked by Max Mindstorm. <laughs> let's see. Alright, Poison Jab. If we outspeed it, should die. Good. Sorry, BD. Not good enough. Oh, it's a Jimmy to beat it. Yes, we use a Jimmy done. Nice. I couldn't win. But at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are. She went from a psychic type trainer to a fairy type trainer. Well, I lost. Feels like Challenger BD was no match for Challenger Volts in his trusted team. Hey BD, that was some match. Don't retire, just restart your career. But this isn't what I planned. If I was able to defeat you, then everything would be fine. Even if I lost, I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. <laughs> you just keep messing up my plans. With everyone cheering me on like this, I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy type gym leader. Now I suppose with my talents, I'll be able to overtake Miss Opal in no time. The stadium is filled with voices cheering on these two young trainers. Now, Challenger Volty, please head back to the locker room so that you can rest up from that unexpected match. Okay. <laughs> right. So, rather surprising for Challenger B to barge in like that. In any case, once you're ready, please head on to the pitch. The finals are about to begin. So, who are we going to be battling? Right, options. Uh, battle effects on. And yeah, that's what we want to do. Anyone else still in here? Nope, everyone's gone, so... Let's just go back onto the pitch. Should check if I was healed up, actually. I think I still got time. Do we get healed up after that battle? Please say yes. We do. Awesome. Right, let's go. So the time for waiting is over. The finals of the Champion Cup are about to begin. The two trainers to face each other in the first battle of the first round are... A trainer endorsed by the champion himself, Challenger Voltsy. His opponent is on, no. The Raging Wave, the master of water types, Nessa. Of all the, uh, actually no, we'll, we'll be fine now. Actually, we've got Bolton, we've got um, Toxicity, we should be fine. I can tell you've grown far stronger since you faced me in Holberry Stadium. Got to hand it to our undefeated champion. It's got a proper eye for talent too. But you're not the champion, and you'll never become the champion either. Do you know why? It's because I, Nessa, am going to defeat both of you and Leon. I'm not going to underestimate you again. I'll use Dynamax to wash you out to see and beyond the horizon. Alright, bring it on. I'm guessing now she'll use Giant Maxin and get her Dreadnought into uh, that whatever form. Alright, bring it on. Ooh. Like in the music. Alright, Galissapod. Okay. Soon you might be disappointed, but I'm gonna wash your team away. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, going for a Pyro Ball. I'm just thinking of the uh, Sun and Moon anime when um, Ash's Tora Cat goes for like Fire Blast and Galizapod's just like, nah, 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 I'm not taking this, and just jumps back in the Pokeball and sends out Caesar. <laughs> and Caesar's just like, yo, what? And sticks a Fire Blast straight to the face and dies. Oh, man. That was one of the, my favorite scenes of Pokemon, I think, in a long time. So funny. <laughs> Alright, uh, we should go for a headbutt. Should outspeed it so maybe we can get the flinch. Flinch it, flinch it, flinch it. Ah, okay, liquidation. Ouch. So I'm guessing because there's eight gym leaders, well, technically, there's seven people all together because Opal wasn't here when we battled BD. So there'll be seven gym leaders plus us for eight. So I'll probably be like, uh, Three matches. Yeah, and then we'll fight the winner of the next bracket and then that'll be the final. Uh, let's go into Toxicity. The thing that makes this really hard is you don't know who you're going to be battling. I really hope we have to fight the um, the Gordy next. Gordy was really tough. 
I'm thinking Raihan might be in the final, because obviously Raihan was the toughest gym leader. But let's go for Overdrive. Nice. Now this battle should be pretty easy. Gotta keep spamming Overdrive and we'll be good. Oh, play rough. Uh, let's go with a Tail Whip and we're good. I'm starting to think Darumaka might need a special thing to evolve as well, which I don't know what it is. Right, Seeking, that's cool. Let's go for a Overdrive. Sweet. Uh, Pelipper. Yeah, we can stay in. It's gonna be easy to just keep overdriving. I don't think we've got anything to worry about, to be honest. Drizzle. Cool. Oh, it's gonna be so easy. Sorry, Nessa, you're getting wrecked. And Dreadnought. Okay, is this our last Pokemon? Because this will be the Giant Max. Let's come down to one last Pokemon. He's saving the best for last. Well, oh, the music's changed. Lad drop. Alright, time for us to Dynamax. And Max Lightning. From the stadium, make it our ocean. Dreadnought, time to giant max. I kind of wish Dreadnought had another evolution, look like that, because that's kind of cool. We're being locked behind a giant max form. Ah, no thanks. Nice. How many wishes? Like, if I knew there wasn't going to be many water Pokemon for us to capture in this game, I probably would have used the um, Dreadnought from really early on on the team. But, yeah, I didn't know. I wasn't to know what Pokemon in the game. <laughs> You're just standing there like, yo, what's up? No, oh, sorry, Nessa. You've no problem handling our surging might. It's no wonder that you won. Yep. I'm not gonna put it on my electric Pokemon at all. And the winner is Voltsy. You defeated Nessa during the gym challenge and now has pulled it off again. You and your Pokemon are just too much. Even with my Dynamax partner, he weathered our waves and stood firm. Now that I think about it, Sonya was saying something about how amazing you were. We should have paid more attention to what she was talking about. I bet everyone in Gala has got their eyes on you now. You defeated my team, so now you've got to ride the current all the way to the end. Now, don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle of the first round will be will begin shortly. Alright, so... Oh, yes, Beer beat Gordy. Nice. Piers beat Kabu. Raihan, okay. Uh, beat Milo. So, I am reckon Raihan's going to beat Piers. Uh, we'll beat Beer, and it will be like me and Raihan in the finals. It's got to be. Okay. And... Right, so now we know what we're up against. Hatterene. If we can just get a few Calm Minds off, we could probably sweep her just with Psychic and Dazzling Gleam. Not worried at all. Alright, let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, we're already at the second match of the finals. Of the four remaining challenges, which two will be left for the last match? If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we witnessed quite the surprise during the final finals here at this year's Champion Cup, as the former gym challenger BD stormed the stage. But Volti was having none of it. This year's top challenger made quick work of him before washing away Jimita Nessa. On the other side, we have the Gala Karate Prodigy. Let's hear it for Jimita Beer, everybody. 
I promise you, my attacks will shake your very soul this time. May the best trainer win. I kind of wish for these battles here, or the gym battles, we had the, um... I don't know if you ever, guys ever played the um, Pokemon Battle Revolution, but the announcement on that was just so cool. I wish he was like doing the announcements for this game. I'd love that. Anyway. Let's go for a Calm Mind, and then we can just Psychic and Dazzling Gleam everything. There's no way we're losing this. Alright, Calm Mind time. But I love the way they do the league in this uh, this region. No Elite Four, but fighting other gym challenges and then gym leaders again to get to the champion. I like this a lot. I think it's so good. Alright, gonna go for another Calm Mind. Yeah, with- oh, Paralysis, that really sucks, but should be fine. No! Oh, can you paralyze me? That really sucks. Gonna go for a Psychic now. Or not. It's actually kind of bad. Well, we can take another uh, bounce. I'm gonna go for a Calm Mind, and the next turn we'll heal up. And then we'll go from there. Whew. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. That Paralysis really sucks though. Right, let's go... Hyper Potion. If any luck you go for a bounce again though, I can go for, uh, Paralyze Heal, get rid of the Paralysis, and then we can kill you. Or should we go for Psychic now? Because he might end up paralyzing me again, which would really, really suck, but if we can get through and just go for Psychic, we, we kill him easy. Nice, go for the Paralysis, we good. Sir Fetched. Okay. Apparently I've heard Sir Fetched has got a really weird like evolution method. You have to get a far fetch holding a leak. And you have to win like you have to level up or win or oh, sorry, win or level up while winning against a trainer who has more than three Pokemon and Far Fetch has to take all three of them out. Which I think is pretty cool, but it sounds kinda of difficult. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Oh, critical hit. Not like we needed it at all, but it's all good. Do I remark level 50? Oh, crap. Well, okay, uh, yeah, we'll stay in. Alright, we will just quickly heal up. I have no more hyper potions. Oh, snap. Well, that ain't good. Yikes. Uh, I guess I'll just not waste anything now. I want to save my max potion for the champion. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. We have other Pokemon that can win, like Corviknight. We've got Brave Bird. I ain't worried. Oh, I actually, I think I might have an idea on how to giant max a Pokemon now. Just thinking about it now, when we've done some raid battles, we got Dynamax candy, which raises the um, the level of Dynamaxing. I reckon you got to level up enough with the, the Dynamax candy, and once it's a certain level, then you can go for a uh, Giant Max form. That's got to be it, 100%. Oh, 100%. So it makes me think, what we'll have to do at some point is just grind a lot of uh, raids, which I don't mind. Get lots of candy for it as well. Uh, yeah, we can stay in. These little dudes are so cute. <laughs> Love them so much. So I guess our last Pokemon's gonna be the Machamp, and she'll probably Gigamax it. Did she Gigamax it last time? I can't remember. We'll find out in a second. Yeah, Machamp. So Machamp's like Gigamax forms just gets like different fists and trousers. <laughs> Go for a 
Dynamax and Max Airstream. Time to kick some butt. Ah, oh, fine then. Let's destroy everything. It's time for Robo Gigamax. So he gets, uh, gets some trousers and his arms get kind of big. They're kind of like fiery. Molten y lava -y. I don't know what you call it, but it sounds like pretty cool. And we just one shot it. <laughs> wow. Nice, 58, 56, and 56. Growing the levels, man. But who you got money on? I've got Raihan in the finals. So I've got. Your strength nearly made me want to turn and run in my bare feet. <laughs> B has been defeated. Challenger Volti has shown his skill. Thank you for a wonderful match. You're welcome. I really enjoyed battling you and your team. I'm upset that I lost, but I also feel so satisfied and so refreshed. In a way, I guess you could say it was the best sort of match anyone could ever hope for. Hope that you'll meet many more trainers and have many more matches in the future. And I hope that every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. The next match will begin in no time. So stay in those seats, folks. Hey. So, uh, yeah. Raihan won. This is going to be a tough match. Sis, you shouldn't be forcing your way in here. <laughs> Sorry, Voltsy. Thought my bro could get revenge for me, but he lost to Raihan. You look so sloppy out there that people are gonna think we're both weak because of because we're related. You got it wrong, sis. Raihan's just that strong. But I was able to show everyone in the audience how amazing proper battle without using Dynamax can be. Alright, I get it. That's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle though. I'm counting you to win, Voltsy. Got that? I'll be cheering for you. Sorry to come in for a chin wag just before the final match. Raihan's waiting for you on the pitch. We're looking forward to, the, to a right good battle. Indeed we are. Alright. Fairy types so we best lead off with uh oh, Hatterine, there you go. Now do. Let's go. The final match before the champion. I thought we'd be taking on the champion this episode, but guess not. Here it is, the last match of the finals. Who will earn the right to challenge the unbeatable champion Leon? Will it be the brilliant Rising Star Challenger Voltsy? Will it be the only trainer that Champion Leon calls his rival? The Tamer of Dragons, Raihan. I love his hoodie, man. You're really something else, kid. You made it all the way here. Guess that's why the champion himself endorsed you, yeah? Leon's my rival, and he chose you. So I've got to first prove I'm better than you if I'm to beat him. I've reworked my whole team, and now we're all geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. You might be thinking that you beat me once already. If you think I'm the same Raihan you faced during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. Oh, I'm ready. Very curious to see what team you got, man. Right, here we go. I'm loving the battle music, man, so much. Oh, Torkoal? Oh, I guess you're gonna press up, um, well, you put a drought to get Sunny Day up. We'll see in a second. Yeah, drought, okay. We're really expecting some dragons here, but should be fine. That's drought, because the sunlight burning real harsh. Let's go for a Calm Mind. Try to set up a little bit against him. Solar Beam, okay. It's all good, it's all good. Right, another Calm Mind. You're on. Uh, we 
it should be alright. I think I'm gonna go for one more Calm Mind, and then I'm gonna go for an Awakening, and then we'll just... We'll get the wreck on, you know? We'll start destroying. More solar beams, that's fine. It's gonna eat them up. <laughs> Look at that damage. Right, now we go for an awakening, wake up, and then we kick some butt. Luckily I bought three of these. And when I bought these awakenings, like, probably one of the first episodes, I was like, oh, I'll probably need these for at some point. And there we go. It's now that some point. <laughs> Finally time. What, he just loves spamming the solar beam, man. Alright, it's time for you to get wrecked. Let's go for a psychic. I'm hoping to take you out on one hit. The only thing I'm worried about is that obviously he's the dragon tamer he might have that ghost dragon type we saw. Like the final evolution of it. We saw the first stage. But if he's got that, that's gonna be a bit of trouble to us. And the sunlight's gone. Good. Turtonator, uh, yeah, we can stay in. Is it worth even going for Dazzling? I'll just go for Psychic. I think we'll be fine. I ain't worried one bit. Nice, level 54, let's go. Uh, yeah, just keep staying in. We'll be fine. Pudra! Pudra, 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 Pudra! Go for a dazzling gleam. Rain dance, okay. I just love his weather effects, doesn't he? But. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Nothing. Here comes the rain, yep. It's all good. What are you gonna do? I am worried. <laughs> Rush your team, his dragons, get dazzling gleamed. They're not dragons, they get psychic. If they're dark type, well, okay, that's not beamed. If they're just. Doesn't matter. <laughs> we destroy everything right now. Alright, that's not I'm guessing you're gonna still have the uh, giant max. Durolodon? I have no idea what it's called. The, the giant, like. Is it ice type or steel type? I have no idea what the type. It was in the. Um, in Route 10 in the snowy bit, so I'm guessing it's maybe ice? Be ice dragon? Be steel dragon? Don't know. Find out in a just a second. Yeah, okay, so let's uh just go for a Dynamax and we're good. So it's Duralodon? Duralodon. Anyway, let's just go Max Starfall and we win! There's no way you live this. I'm not sure if the Calm Mind stats will um, boost our Dynamax form. I hope so, but we'll see. Please kill him one hit. That'd be great. Please, come on. Oh, he goes fast, we're probably dead. Oh, this is not good. Okay, this is not good. It's fine, we can, we can still win. We've got Cinderace and we can go for a nice uh, pyro ball. Not too worried. Should be alright. So that big boy's gonna be kind of hard to take down. It's like literally fighting a giant. This is crazy. But we just did a lot of that critical hit. Nice. Well, that definitely was pretty good. And this will probably take us out, most likely. 
Ooh, we're just living. Just living. And we, of course, we had to miss that. That one important move to win us the match. Right then and there. We had to miss. <laughs> oh, how unfortunate. It's okay, though. It's okay. Uh, we will just go... <laughs> uh, go Bolton, go for Play Rough, maybe finish it off. If we can. Is doing three turns yet? Go back down to normal size. Good. Play Rough. There we go. Whew. He's level 55, so I'm guessing Leon must. My Charizard might be level 60. Potentially. Losing the finals is pretty rough. I suppose I'd better take a quick shot to remember it by. 17,600, not bad. Challenger Voltsy seizes victory. Yes, we do. My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before. You just blew right past us. Beyond anything I'd, ever, I'd imagined. I'm still pretty young myself. It just goes to show that there's always someone younger coming up, reaching further than you ever dreamed. And you've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum, prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number 3, Challenger Voltsy, has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who is endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed him. Oh man, I'm excited. Alright, ooh, look. Got a uh, Rallaboom. Big moment's finally here, eh? I came just to cheer you on, you know? Still, it's not easy picking sides. After all, it's a showdown between my big brother and my rival. Who should I really want to win more? Your brother. Always your brother. Family first, man. <laughs> right, you reckon I should cheer for Voltsy too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together way back in Postwick. So you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. I'll try. Just seeing like Rollaboom next him next him really makes me want to have Pokemon follow us again. That'd be so great. But I'm getting this right here. Next episode will be the champion match. We take on Leon. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.